very much, Jenna, for doing that. Thank, Thank you. Help. Thank you for having me on Social Media Notice. Yeah. I'm Jonah Burke, uh, and I'm here to talk to you about a website I recently created called The Darfur Wall. And I want you guys to take two things away from this presentation. Uh, the first one um, is just that you can use the internet for philanthropy in interesting ways. The second one is that I hope you'll get involved with this project. So who's heard of Darfur? Okay, a lot of people, that's great. Um, it's surprising how many people haven't, and even people that I know that are really interested in current events have not heard of it. This is the way that I like to explain it. It's currently the world's most dire crisis. Uh, in the last three years, 400,000 people have been killed. Uh, two and a half million people have been displaced from their homes. And this is all in Sudan, which is a region in the western part, uh, a region in the western part of Sudan in Africa. Um, I recently left Microsoft. I was a program manager there, and I started a foundation called the Darfur Foundation. And I started it with my father Dan, my brother Matt, uh, and our main project is called the Darfur Wall. So today I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk you through uh, the site. When you go to the Darfur Wall, this is what you see. It looks a little more clear on your screen. This is one panel of 40, and there's 10,000 numbers on this panel. You can actually scroll down. That top thing at the top right is a map. So if you click on one of those squares, you'll see another panel. When you click on a number, you see this screen, which is a dark number. And it says, donate $1 uh, to light this number. Um, when you click on that link, donate $1 it takes you through a checkout process. You can pay a dollar, you can pay more to light more numbers. Uh, and then finally, you come back here, and your number is lit. You can see it shows your name and your location. That's my friend Phil. What's up, Phil? Um, from Seattle, who lit one number. Um, and so the idea of this project is to get 400,000 people involved in the movement. And it's not just to raise money, but also to raise awareness by getting a lot of people to do something small. An interesting thing about the Darfur Foundation is that 100% of the money, besides transaction costs, goes to these charities. I pay all the costs, and my father pays all the costs out of pocket so we can donate everything. So I'm going to take you through a tour of some other cool features of the website. If you click zoom out, you see this picture. And this is the overall picture of the wall. And each pixel represents, thank you, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, each pixel represents a number. So this shows us on a large scale the progress. What do the numbers mean? The, the numbers just, each number represents a person in Darfur. And that's significant because we don't even have these people's names. Um, they're kind of nameless. Uh, um, but, but it's also supposed to be hopeful because you can light these numbers up and recognize them. That shows all the people that have donated. This is a Google map which shows where all our donations have come from. And you can see that we've got support coming from all over the world. This has only been going on for three weeks. A lot in the US, a lot in Europe, even in... Uh, this is from Qatar, Qatar. this is from uh, Israel. Some quick stats on our first 21 days of work. Uh, we've got 445 unique donors, that's more than 20 a day. Uh, $5,000 have been donated, that's more than 200 a day. And sadly, only 1.21% of the wall is lit. But that's pretty good progress for just a few days. This is the cumulative donations. The top number there is 6,000, the next one is 5,000. So you can see it's gone up pretty steadily, and recently it is sort of increasing. I hope that's exponential. It's probably not exponential, but uh, it's been increasing a lot recently. Um, oh, this is my old slide deck. That's okay. Uh, buy them out. Let me just... There's supposed to be a great pie chart on here. Um, most of them are small donations. Some of them are large. Why that's significant to me is it shows that a lot of people are getting involved in a small way. So we're not just raising money, we're also raising awareness. By location, I kind of just showed you the map. This is just a pie chart which shows that the sort of uh, majority of the donations that come from the U.S., but we also have a lot of donors from Canada and a lot of donors from Europe. So I run this kind of on a shoestring, so how do we promote it? We promote it mainly through the Internet, MySpace, bloggers, and emails. And what I want you to take away from that is that the people in this room are extremely powerful, and you guys can really help. Um, the Internet's sort of the lowest cost way to promote this, and we've only relied a little bit on traditional media. A little bit about the technology. I'm using you know, all open source stuff, Ruby on Rails, Apache, MySQL, Debian. It's my first Rails project. I don't know how many of you guys use Rails, but I've been really impressed with sort of the speed of development and how easy it is to, to learn. Uh, and then we use a bunch of existing APIs which have allowed us to get this running at low cost and very quickly. We use WordPress for our blog, Google for our maps and our gadget. We have a gadget so you can put it on your homepage and track the stats. And then PayPal for our payment processing. Um, Phil, again, asked me to give a few lessons. It's pretty early in the, uh, in the project to have garnered any lessons, but I found that um, just by starting with my own personal network was a great way to grow the project. Um, 
I'm running out of time, so let me skip to this slide. I want you to consider doing three things. Visit the site, darfurwall.org. Tell some friends about it and blog about the site and link. We have some cool images and gadgets you can put on your site. And finally, if you have contacts in the media or you can think of other creative ways to promote the project, please talk to me afterwards.